Hi and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be going over the minimum function in Microsoft Excel 2016. This is a video request from Ella and Ella says, can you do a video on case problem 2, chapter 3, question 6? Well yeah, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to show you what exactly they mean uh, what, with the minimum function on this question. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so right here I'm looking at a timesheet for Carol over here and let's say we want to break down the straight time which is any time uh, within the eight hour period versus overtime which is any time over eight hours. So I'm going to set up a minimum function to basically only allow eight hours to appear in straight time so eight hours or less okay whatever the minimum between the two is. So if I type in an equal sign and then I type min for minimum that'll return the smallest number in a set of values I'm gonna press tab and then I'll click on G6 now G6 happens to be below 8 meaning it should return a value of 7.5 right so that one wouldn't have a problem but uh, and I'll just I'll enter that in just so you could see it but down here on this one that says uh, let's say this one right here where it says 10.5 if I did min for the minimum right here and put in that number, it would be 10.5. Well, that's not correct because we only need eight hours to go towards straight time and then the remaining two and a half would go to overtime in this case. So I need to modify this minimum function in order for that to work. So I'm gonna type in an equal sign, M-I-N, and then I will press tab to activate it. And then I will press G6, right, right there. And then I'll put in a comma, all right? What the comma does is it tells uh, Microsoft Excel, all right, take the minimum of G6 or something else. In this case, eight, okay? Because that's the amount of hours that uh, we could put towards straight time before it falls into the overtime category. I close the parentheses, I press enter, we see 7.5 is displayed, that looks like normal, and then I'm gonna autofill that down. And now you'll see the highest value that we see here is eight and eight and eight. So now that way we know that the remaining hours can now be put into the overtime section. So uh, that's basically how to set up the min function in this particular case. Uh, you can again set those parameters on any function that you're doing on your computer. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have a video request yourself, please put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to do it. I have tutorials on Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much.